What's up guys, I'm Jack from Backcountry Sled Edits and today we are going to be doing a walk around of the 2003 Summit and the 98 MXZ right here. And uh, we're actually going to be cleaning the engines on them because they have a lot of carbon buildup and old oil from uh, years of riding and we never really had the chance to clean them. Um, so we're going to do a little bit of that and we just kind of wanted to get a video and an update on our sleds. So we'll get right into the video. Alright guys, so here's the 98 MXZ. This is a 500cc motor. So a little bit smaller, you can see the old South Dakota sticker. Um, that's from a long time ago, 2002 there it looks like. And then, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what size track this is. I, if I had to guess, it's around 130. Um, but I do know the Summit over there is a 151 um, Summit. So yeah, just a little walk around here. They're not really dirty machines. They're pretty brand new for what, for how much they've been ridden. Um, but this is the one I like riding over here. This is the 700 Summit here. Um, yeah, this one's pretty clean too. We just changed the belt last time we rode it. Um, but yeah, we're going to be cleaning this up here. A little bit bigger track paddles there, lugs on there. Longer track. But yeah, let's get right into cleaning. All right, so now we got the hood all propped up here. Here's the engine. Now this is all just like carbon buildup and exhaust, I guess, with a little bit of oil on there. But you can see we kind of started cleaning there and there, um, new plugs put in. And uh, yeah, so let's get right into the cleaning here. All right, guys, as you can see there, it's actually a total yellow. I didn't even know it was yellow because I hadn't even seen these before we got them. Um, but we're still getting some cleaning. I'm using a flat head to get on the in the crevices there. Probably take the spark plugs out and clean that little area around them. Um, but now I'm curious to see what the summit's going to look like, if it's blue or black. I'm not sure. Um, we're going to clean a little bit more, and we'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right, as you can see, for the most part, we got it cleaned up. Still need to clean up down there and back here. Um, but otherwise, it's totally a bright yellow there. Need to clean up the Rotax uh, logo there. And if you were wondering, this is not for breeze. It's actually a degreaser. It's called Citrus Degreaser. So we use that on there. I'm just using a towel and a, actually a flathead screwdriver to get into the crevices with the, with the towel on there. You can see it just comes off. So that's probably the best way for me to do it, but I'm gonna to touch things up and then we'll move on to the other snowmobile. Okay, now we're onto the Summit 700 here. So this one, I'm not sure what the condition of the cylinder head is. I have not seen it. We're just kind of cleaning cylinder heads, I guess, for this video. So that one looks like it's got a lot. Um, we're cleaning up the sides and the top there. And we can clean up that, that clutch cover there. Um, so yeah, let's get right into this one. All right, guys, so that's the best we're gonna get it for now before we actually take all these off and do the whole engine. Um, but then we're gonna clean the clutch cover here, which shouldn't be too hard because it's pretty straightforward, not with all these indents and stuff. So that's obviously gonna get cleaned up later. I just wanted to clean it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, we'll get right into this clutch thing. I know this video is probably gonna be boring, but I um, wanted to get some videos out of our things. And I thought this was a good way to start by showing you what we have and what we'll be riding this winter, and then we might also add a new sled this winter. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's uh, pretty boring video. <laughs> if you guys have any questions on our snowmobiles, just comment down below, I'll get them answered. Otherwise, give us suggestions to do on these. 
videos for future reference. That is not on there. Um, but otherwise, let me know what you think of the sleds. And uh, hopefully we get some GoPro videos in the future. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.